Hey, Astroners, this is Diana. And guess what? Of course, I'm going to be at the Dwarf Lab booth at the Consumer Electronics. And Dwarf Lab is my first love. We're having lots of conversation here with Claire and also with Grace. Uh, regarding all of your questions and things that we talk about, um, interacting at my field. I learned here that now we are going to be able to do up to 120 seconds. That's two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, that is some serious stuff. I am curious to see how uh, the new developments are going to be as they told me that they are working on the tracking issues and in trying to improve everything. I'm Grace from Dwarf Lab. I'm so thrilled to attend the CES 2025. And today I'm going to talk about our uh, latest uh, launch of the tripod. Yeah, here, look at this. And uh, this is the professional grade hydraulic um, head. Yeah, it has what this makes this uh, special. Yeah, and uh, uh, this. It only weighs at 790 grams. It's very portable, uh, very specifically uh, designed for our astronomers and astrophotographers in mind. And uh, look at this. Uh, this has an altitude scale. Yeah. And it is very good for the polar alignment and finding some specific um, celestial objects in the night sky. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, you can also look at this, and there is a hook. Yeah, it is not only for direction. You can add extra, um, lot of, I mean, weight to enhance the stability of the tripod. Yes, um, and the whole height uh, with this uh, top. I mean, with the height is only 25 centimeters, and you can also. Lengthen it uh, with the quick twist locks yeah, to lengthen it to 50, uh, 53 centimeters. Speaking of the software development, uh, I think, well, I cannot reveal everything we are working on, but we are really actively working on some community-driven features. Um, for example, the, uh, someone might notice that uh, in our beta version, uh, there is uh, 120 seconds exposure. Yeah, that is very perfectly for the EQ mode. Yeah. Um, but we didn't announce it officially because uh, it is still under development. So we don't want to rush them out uh, with unstability. And our development team is uh, working diligently to improve um, on the tracking capability, uh, tracking accuracy, yeah, to reduce the failure rate. Yeah. And uh, this is the image uh, my friend Yanims. Uh, has shown me he used our beta version of the 120 seconds and this is a picture stacked of eight frames yeah I think it's really good yeah, and that is the positive uh, evidence of our capability uh, from DOF3 yeah so it's going to be amazing to me it's a long time for any telescope uh, and then you know to track and to be able to keep guiding for two minutes mm -hmm. to get good stars is, is a big deal. So that's a very good, that's a very promising image. Yeah, thank you. Very promising. Uh, okay, another feature that our uh, software team is, work, uh, is working on is that the linear image, the stepped in linear image. Uh, we have received a lot of feedback that people want to um, post the process, uh, the stepped image themselves. Um, but they don't want to spend uh, much more time on the pre-stacking uh, on, on serial, yeah, it's a kind of the post-processing tool. And so uh, we forward this uh, feedback to our um, software team and uh, they are considering to add the, uh, like, I'm not sure whether it's a 16-bit or a 32-bit uh, raw stacked linear image. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah. yes, it is coming soon. <laughs> much as you know dwarf lab is my first love on smart telescopes and will always be my first love and this is a great team that we have here available all the time and you know any questions that you have regarding tracking or stat image or any technical problem they are on it so we wish dwarf lab a lot of success this year in 2025 and they are working hard to improve and make us even happier with the Dwarf Telescope. Thank you so much. And also all of my astro nerds in my channel. Thank you so much, Grace.